Is Sean Strickland being a complete hypocrite in calling out other fighters for crossing the line when it comes to trash talking? So UFC 296 is in the books and probably the biggest takeaway from the weekend was all the trash talking that went on in the build up. Probably the biggest one was Colby Covington and what he had to say to Leon Edwards to try and fire him up which honestly really crossed the line. It was a pretty low blow. Uh, I've seen a lot of people sticking up for Colby Covington and saying, you know, what do you expect from him? He's playing a character. That's all bullshit, man. Like, you can play a character, you can sell a fight, you can be a troll, but there's certain things you just shouldn't say. Anyone who's lost a relative at a young age, which I have, that's something you don't really get over. And Leon has other family members as well who aren't involved in the fight, who also lost their father, lost their husband. Um, so that was just a really shitty thing to say, in my opinion. And I think in a lot of people's opinion, I think if Colby came out and actually put on a decent performance, he might have gotten away with it a little bit more. But obviously he didn't do that. He basically ran away for four rounds and then tried to put it on him a little bit in the fifth round. But I think Colby Covington lost a few of the fans that he had left, including Donald Trump, who apparently walked out while Colby was giving his speech. And it was a bizarre speech. Like he didn't reference the fight at all. He just started talking about making America great again and Donald Trump and the border. It seemed desperate to me. I'm sure you've seen it by now, but in the seasonal press conference for the Drikus du Plessis versus Sean Strickland title fight that's coming up in January, Strickland basically came out and was going at Sean O'Malley, basically calling him a cuck for letting his wife sleep with other men. Now, I don't know if that's actually true, but Sean O'Malley has said on a few different podcasts that he's in an open relationship. So I guess that's sort of fair game. He then was uh, saying some interesting things to Drikus du Plessis about having his coach finish him off after the fight. I think that's related to a picture Drake has put out on his Instagram. Kind of a weird picture, kind of a weird thing, but I have heard the backstory to that. He was in France for the World Cup, I believe. Um, South Africa won the World Cup. Big celebrations, big drinking session going on. And I guess he, he thought it would be funny and it would get a lot of views, which it did. But so as the press conference went on, uh, Drikus started taking little jabs at Sean Strickland about his father beating him, which is obviously something that Sean has opened up a little bit about on the Joe Rogan podcast and on some other platforms. And this is when the press conference started to really take a, a dark turn. Uh, you could tell that Sean was visibly upset about this. And DDP just started laughing like a complete maniac, which honestly was pretty funny. <laughs> but during the press conference, Sean also had this to say about Colby and his trash talking. Let me give you some facts on Colby. Colby is an utter piece of shit. And I take, I take Colby as a personal insult to me. And him making fun of uh, Leon's dad, that is the biggest move you can do. That is the biggest move to do. So just so you know, Colby is a fake pussy. And look, I've seen a lot of comments online about people calling Sean Strickland a hypocrite for his stance on this. And I can understand where they're coming from. He is one of the biggest trash talkers in the UFC. He'll pretty much go at anybody about anything. For instance, the Ian Gary thing, he was one of the biggest guys trolling Ian Gary for being a cuck. He went at Izzy really hard too about the whole dog thing. So a lot of people are wondering like, what gives Sean Strickland the right to call people out for crossing the line when it comes to trash talk? So like I said, I do understand why you would think that about Sean Strickland given his history, but there is a very distinct difference between what Sean does and what DDP did and what Colby Covington did on the weekend. Sean Strickland only goes at guys for decisions they've made as grown men, right? If you're a grown man and you're making poor decisions and you're doing stupid stuff online, Sean Strickland is gonna find it and he's gonna go at you for it. And these are things that can get under people's skin. And the reason I think that it gets under people's skin is because there's always an element of truth to it. So when he went at Izzy about the dog thing, like Izzy deep down knew like, okay, there's a video online. I can't really defend myself here. It looks pretty bad. And in Sean's mind, he's like, why would you do that? You're a grown man. You put this video out for everyone to see. I'm going to call you out on it. And the same thing with Ian Gary. Like he put all this content out for everybody to see. Sean Strickland found it, went after him about it and it's fair game. So to be honest, I, I sort of get where Sean Strickland is coming from. And I understand that people are wondering where does Sean Strickland get the right to have this moral high ground? But if you pay attention to his interviews that he does, um, he does have a set of morals and standards that he seems to live by. It's all about like 
being a man and owning up to your flaws and all this sort of stuff. For a dude who gets punched in the face for a living, like he's actually pretty well thought out. And sure, his morals might not always be the same as everybody else's, but he is pretty consistent about them. So after the press conference, Strickland put out a Twitter post and pretty much explained his stance on the whole thing. And he says, basically, I expect nothing less from O'Malley and Drikas. Next time, come at me as a man. Clearly, you don't know what that means. So there it is with his moral high ground about being a man and owning up to your mistakes. He then says, I just want to say one thing that I feel needs to be said. There are a lot of kids out there who have been abused and molested, and it's a damn tragic thing that forever changes you. This is interesting because he's saying there are a lot of kids out there who have been abused and molested and it's a damn tragic thing that forever changes you. That that sort of gives the indication that he's one of those people, right? How you function, how you view the world, how you treat relationships, how you handle addiction and for someone to put you down with that level of trauma on a world stage is an utter disgrace. I have a big following of people who suffered trauma, molestation and I will tell you that it's not funny to me. Whatever you've gone through or have been through isn't funny to me. I hope you all understand that these are weak men who don't understand hardship. They don't understand what it's like to live with demons. Forever a struggle they will never understand. That's pretty heavy shit. I mean, he's basically coming out and saying, hey, I'm in at you, Sean O'Malley and Drikas, for acting like clowns online and you came at me for abuse that I suffered at the hands of my father when I was a kid. That's not really the same thing. I kind of get where he's coming from there. In fact, I completely get where he's coming from there. And I don't know about you, but it's starting to feel like Sean Strickland went from being like this bad guy that sort of talked a lot of shit and people weren't too sure about. A lot of people didn't like all the shitty talk. And now it feels like he's kind of going from like the heel to the hero. Uh, He's done it with the Izzy fight. He really got people on board with him in the build up to the Izzy fight. And it feels like this DDP fight, he's going to do the same thing. He's sort of playing like a bit of a victim card. Not, Not saying that he's like playing the victim, but he's definitely trying to come across as the hero in this build up. And I think it's working. And look, I've seen... A lot of interviews from DDP and um, he seems like a great dude. He seems like a really, really solid guy. So I'm not having a go at Drakus here. I think I think Drakus just got a little bit carried away and was sort of in the moment and trying to hype up the fight. I don't think he meant any malice with what he said. But Sean's definitely starting to come off as the nice guy on the end of this. So Sean apparently just did a podcast with Theo Vaughn, which hasn't been released yet. It actually looks like it's probably going to get released today or tomorrow. So I'll be interested to see that. But apparently he was on the podcast and he broke down in tears because he couldn't hide his emotions about what he went through as a kid. He put out this Twitter post that said, uh, PTSD can make a strong man weak or a weak man strong. Years and years of abuse just changes you as a man. The hate just doesn't go away. The sad truth is I'm one of millions, but I only matter because there are, because there is a camera in my face. Most people just suffer in silence and drown their demons in alcohol or drugs. Theo, thanks for saying you'd delete the video for me. I wanted you to. Hell, still kind of do, but at the end of the day, it's life. So he's talking about the podcast that he did and he broke down in tears. He also put out this post uh, about two days ago and it said, So I did a podcast with Theo. God damn, wall broke a little bit, allergies starting to act up, it wasn't my finest moment, damn demons, lol. So he's saying he went on the podcast and just started breaking down in tears because he couldn't hold back his emotions, which honestly is crazy because I cannot for the life of me picture him sitting down with Theo Vaughan and just bawling his eyes out. So I'll be interested to see that podcast and if it actually does get released by Theo uh, I have a feeling Theo may not release it because he wants to protect Sean Strickland and Theo seems like a pretty good dude but we'll just have to wait and see with that so yeah I don't know pretty big turn of events here it seems like Sean Strickland's gaining some traction as uh, the baby face in the UFC which honestly is crazy if you told me that a year ago I would have never believed it but I like the guy I reckon he's cool I, I think he has morals I think he's got a lot of flaws as well don't get me wrong like he doesn't seem like the perfect dude he's probably got some anger issues but he seems to have pretty high standard of morals and i'm interested to see where it goes from here especially in the build-up to this next fight 